Shalom. Uh, all praise to the Most High. Um, just doing a quick share. I'm in an epistle of the apostles. All right. It says, but they that walk in truth, do you walk in truth? It says, they that walk in truth and in knowledge of the faith and have love towards me, Christ, for they have endured insults, they shall be praised for that they walk in poverty and endure. They go through them that hate them and put them to shame men have stripped them naked for they despised them because they continued in hunger and thirst but after they have endured they went through patiently they shall have the blessedness of heaven the chosen the elect the israelites and they shall be with me forever but woe unto them that walk in pride, those that walk in pride and boasting, for their end is perdition. How do you want your end to be? Do you want it to be in perdition? Pride, um, pride, it becomes fall. So, or pride, um, pride, then there's destruction. So again. And them that walk in pride and boasting, for their end is perdition, destruction. 39 says, And we have said unto him, Master, says Lord, is this your purpose that you leaveth us? Is this the reason why you're leaving us to come upon them? And it says, um, Christ answered and said unto us, After what manner shall the judgment be? He's asking the question, out of, uh, um, after what way shall the judgment happen? Whether righteous or unrighteous. All right. We said unto him, the apostles, Lord, in that day, they will say unto you, you have not distinguished between the judgment. He says, will they not say unto you, you have distinguished between righteousness and evil and good? I'm sorry, righteousness and unrighteousness between the light and the darkness and evil and good. Have you decided or discerned between righteousness and unrighteousness between the light and the darkness? All right, the light and chaos and evil and good. What's right? Then said he, I will answer them and say unto Adam uh, and say, Unto Adam was power given to, cho to choose one of the two, righteousness or darkness. He chose the light, which is righteousness, the commandments, and laid his hand thereon, the light. But the darkness he left behind him and threw, it says, cast away from him, the darkness. Therefore have all men power to believe in the light. We all have power to believe in the what? The light. Who is the light? The Most High. And Christ, which is life, and which is the Father that hath sent me. The Father that sent Christ is the light everlasting. And everyone that believeth and doeth the works, the deeds of the light, righteousness, shall live in them. But if there be any that confess that he belongeth unto the light, and doeth the works, the deeds of darkness, such a one have no defense to utter in the judgment and neither can he lift up his face to look up to look up upon the son of god christ the word which son i which son am i he's the son of the light not the darkness it says for i will say unto him this is what christ is saying as you saw this so have you found have you searched or seek? So have you found. Ah. And as you ask if so have you received. Wherefore con condemnest you me? Why do you condemn Christ, O man? And wherefore have you departed from me, left from me, and denied me? And wherefore have you confessed me and still deny me? 
Have not every man power to live and to die? Whoso then keep my commandments, my law shall be a son of the light, the Most High. That is of the Father, Abba. That is in me, and the light. But because of them that corrupt, uh, darken my words, I am come down from heaven, Shemaim. I am the word. I became flesh. The word became flesh, body. And I wearied myself. He suffered and taught this. The heavy laden shall be saved. And they that are gone astray shall go astray. They shall leave forever. They shall be chastised, afflicted, all right, punished and tormented in their flesh, in their what? Their body and in their soul after death forever. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. So I'm in uh, the Shepherd of Her Maze. All right, and uh, uh, book two, uh, chapter five, verse 11. And it says, and now says he hear the wickedness of anger. Okay, how evil and hurtful it is and how it overthrows the servants of God. Anger overthrows the servants of God, the employees of the Most High, for it cannot hurt those that are full of faith. It cannot hurt those that are full of faith or work upon faith because the power, because the virtue of the Most High is with them. The power of the Most High is with them, but it overthrows the doubtful, the unfaithful, the unbelieving, and those that are destitute of faith, that don't have any faith, empty. For as often as it sees such men, uh, it throws itself into their hearts. And so a man or woman is in bitterness for nothing, for nothing, for no reason. And for the things of life or for substance, material things, money. Or for a vain word, if any should ch chance to fall in, or by reason of any friend, or for a debt, or for any other uh, superfluous things of the like nature, vain, vain things. For these things are foolish, they're empty, and superfluous, and vain to the servants of the Most High. But equanimity is stronger and first forcible and of great power and sitteth in great enlargement and is cheerful rejoicing in peace and glorifying the most high at all times with meekness and this long suffering dwells with those that are full of faith those that are full of faith ain't angry but anger is foolish and light and empty now bitterness is bred through folly by bitterness, anger, and by anger, fury. And this fury arising from so many evil principles, work of a great and incurable sin, a really bad error. For when all these things are in the same, it says, when all these things are in the same vessel or man in which the Holy Spirit dwells, all right? So for in all these things are the same, are in the same vessel, the body or man or woman in which the Holy Spirit lives. The vessel cannot contain them, can hold them, but runs over. And because the spirit being tender cannot tarry with the evil one, it cannot stay with the evil one. It departs, it flees and dwells with him that is meek and it, the spirit goes and rests with those that are weak the ruach all right so let me let me um grab what i want to grab and i think i want it in the wisdom of solomon so let me get that real quick
Wisdom of Solomon. Um, uh, one. Uh, and six. For wisdom is a loving spirit and will not forgive a blasphemer of his words. For the Most High is a witness of his reigns, his inside, and a true beholder of his heart is mine and the hearer of his tongue. For the Spirit of the Lord filleth the world, and that which containeth all things have knowledge of the voice. Therefore he that speaketh unrighteous things cannot be hid, hidden, neither shall vengeance when it um, dishes out punishment. All right. And I'm going to jump down to 10. It says, For the ear of jealousy heareth all things. And the noise of murmuring, murmurings or complaints is not hid from the Most High. Okay. It's not hid. All right. And uh, I'm going to go back to verse 5. That's where I was looking for. 5, it says, no, 4. It says, for into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. It's not going to go in. The Ruach, you're not going to have it. Um. It's not going to go into a malicious soul, a wicked soul, and shall not enter, nor live in the body that is subject unto sin, that, that is a slave to doing evil, wrong. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit, is going to flee lies, evil doctrines, and false prophets, and remove from thoughts that are without understanding, and will not abide when unrighteousness come in. All right. So let's go back to Second Hermes. And I said it was chapter five. And I was in verse 11. Um, now at um, verse 15, it says, For when all things are in the same vessel, evil and good, uh, when it's in the same vessel, man or woman, in which the Holy Spirit dwells, lives, the vessel cannot hold them, but runs over. And because the Spirit being tender cannot tarry, it's not going to wait, it's not going to delay, it's not going to stay with the evil one. All right? Satan, the demons. It departs and lives with him that is meek. It flees. The Holy Spirit flies off like a dove and enter in the person that is meek. 16. When therefore it is departed, when the Holy Spirit is left from the man and whom it lives in, the man becomes destitute, empty of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach, she, and is afterwards filled with the wicked spirits, the demons. Filled with the wicked, wicked spirits in the Greek Anthonus, all right, and is unstable in all his doings, being drawn hither and there and there by wicked men. Okay, so the Holy Spirit, the Ruach, is afterwards filled with wicked spirits, and is blinded with evil thoughts. When the Holy Spirit leaves the vessel, all right, that is wicked. Um, that vessel is filled with evil spirits and is blinded with evil thoughts, evil inclinations. So do if it happen to all angry men, especially angry men. Wherefore, depart you from angry anger and put on uh, equine, e ah, equine, Nimity and resist wrath, so you shall be found with modesty and charity by God. So you can be seeing the Greek, um, so you can be applauded with reverence, respect by those who are beloved of the Most High Elohim. It says, Take good heed, therefore, that you neglect not this commandment. For if you shall obey this command, then you shall also be able to observe the other commandments which I shall command you. Wherefore, strengthen yourself now in these commands that you may as live unto the Most High Yah. And whosoever shall observe these commandments, these laws shall live 
unto the Most High. Uh, command. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this is. Uh, four. All right. Let me see if this is. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Command six, chapter six, verse one. All right. Let's read it. It says, "I command you." All right. Because it's saying here that every man has two angels, and um, and of the suggestion of both of these two angels, right? The evil inclination, the Yetzar, and the good inclination. Which one are you going to listen to? Because some of y'all are angels and y'all are demons. It says, I command you, said he, in my first commands, commandments, that you should keep faith and fear and repentance. Yes, sir, said I. He continued, but now I will show you the virtues, the power of these commands that you may may us know their effects and how they are prescribed alike to the just and the unjust, the righteous and the unrighteous. Do you therefore believe the righteous, but give no credit to the unrighteous? For righteousness keepeth the right way, but unrighteousness the wicked way, all right? The wicked path, the instructions, directions. Do you therefore keep the right way, Israel, and leave that which is evil? For the evil way has not a good end. It's a way that seems right to a man, and that way leads to death. The only good way is acknowledging the Most High in all his ways, and he'll direct and guide your path. So anyway, it says, For the evil way path has not a good end, but have many stumbling blocks. It is rugged and full of thorns. Right, the false prophet, the false doctrines, is a rugged way and is full of thorns, and leads to destruction, and it, and it is hurtful to all such as walk in it. You walk in it, you're gonna get pricked. You're gonna be hurt, but they who go in the right way, the righteous way, walk with evenness and without offense. See, without offense, because it is not rough nor thorny, thorny all praises be to the most high you see it therefore how it is best to walk in this way this direction this path take this course you shall therefore go says he and all others as many as believe in the most high it says god with all thy heart all their mind soul spirit and shall go through it and now says he understand first all what belongs to faith there are two angels with man one of righteousness the other of sin iniquity and i said unto him sir how shall i know that there are two such angels with men messengers here says he and understand the angel of righteousness is mild and modest and gentle and quiet when therefore he gets into my heart or you thy heart mine immediately he talks with you of righteousness the thought is going to be righteous first a modesty of charity of bountifulness abundance of forgiveness of charity and piety respect when all these things come into your heart your mind your spirit your ruach know then that the angel of righteousness is with thee israel wherefore hearken to this angel this messenger and to his works his deeds learn also the works the deeds of the angel of iniquity you need to know the the deeds of the angel of sin samuel hasatan Bestema, belier you need to know um of those works of the angel of sin he is first of all bitter and angry upset and foolish and his works his deeds are <laughs> 